What's up, everybody? My name is Chris. We're going all the way back to 2000 today. It feels like it's got something foil in it. <laughs> Apocalypse, Plane Shift, Invasion, Odyssey, Torment, and Judgment. You know, each one of these sets is right around the time I started playing Magic. I started playing Magic in right before the Urza block, right before the Urza block. So these cards bring back a lot of nostalgia for me. That art is so cool. Um, judgment, if I could have one request for judgment, I would ask for Probably either the original art from Marari's Wake or a World Gorger. A World Gorger Dragon would be cool. Look at that venomous finds. Spencer? No way. <laughs> Mental note. Mental note. Okay, those are the uncommons. They're really hard to tell. Unquestioned authority. Brow beat. We do have a foil in here. Guilt feeder. And we got a foil lead astray. Those old foils just hit different, you guys. They do. They just they just hit different. It's it's the border. That is beautiful. Oh no, let me damage it and drop it and scratch it. We like those. These old foils, they uh the foiling frost over really bad on them. But these, these old foils just hit different. I'll take a foil from one of these old sets any day of the week. Any day of the week. Um, Torment. For the longest time, the highest value card in Torment was Coffers. And when it got reprinted in Modern Horizons, it crashed. It fell hard. The Tainted Lands are cool in here. Let me just completely brutalize this. The Tainted Lands. I like the Tainted Lands. I actually picked up some foil of those. Nantuko Calmer for my uh, my red, black, white angel deck. Sledge. Because I thought they were cool. And then shortly after I picked them up, they spiked really hard. Crochet Restore. Unhinge. Liquify. Is that Spencer? Who knew? Okay, Compulsion. Now, Coffers is in this slot. Coffers is in this slot. Temporary Insanity. Gloom Drifter. Gloom Drifter. And our rare is Parallel Evolution, baby. We like those. Okay. Okay, let's leave the rares up here. Let's leave the rares up here. This is very fun. This is so much fun, you guys. <sighs> ah, excuse me. Odyssey. Who remembers Odyssey? Uh, we opened a pack of Odyssey last year, and we pulled an Entomb. Right out of the one pack. This year, I would love to find a Nut Collector. I do believe there's a couple Uncommons in here that are worth quite a bit. Um, isn't Price of Glory in here? And Druid's Call, aren't those in here? Anarchist, Escape Artist, Muscle Burst, Roar. <laughs> Flame Burst, Mr. Spencer, Repel. See, back in the day, Ron Spencer was said McKinnon. Okay, I feel like after his wife passed away and he kind of like drifted off into his own world and never returned to the art world of magic again. That, uh, like, Seb stepped in and took his place. Because they're both, like, equally popular for their time frame. Does that make sense? Innocent Blood. Okay. Nomad Stadium. These are, these old arts are so cool. Luminous Guardian. I think we might actually have a foil in here. Luminous Guardian. Minotaur Explorer. Look at that! 
Cultural Exchange. I don't even remember this card. Choose any number of creatures target player controls. Choose the same number of creatures another target player controls. Those players exchange control. What? That's nuts. And a full anarchist. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't think you guys realize how hard it was to get these old foils. These old foils. You might have a box with four foils in it. Maybe five. That cultural exchange. That is cool. I don't even remember that card. I wonder if that's worth anything. I mean, it can't, it's not like a big hit in the set, but wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, apocalypse. Are y'all having fun? Are y'all having fun? Because I'm having fun. Apocalypse. Um, Phyrexian Arena is in here. I believe it was the first print. I would love to find a pernicious deed. Okay, so our uncommons and rares are right here. So we're going to flip these over just like this. Tranquil Path. Destroy all enchantments. Draw a card. Zombie Boa. Goblin Legionnaire. Mind Extraction, Shimmering Mirage, Thunder, I can smell these cards, Bloodfire Dwarf, the Spencer Art, Consume Strength, that art, I always did like that art, Consume Strength, Anna, Disciple, Dwarven Landslide, that is just so cool, Landslide, okay, we're into our Uncommons. Vodalian Mystic, Night and Day, Night and Day, okay, Dwarven Patrol, those are the Hildebrandt, that's a team card, Battlefield Forge, baby, we like those, that's a nice card, that's a nice card, maybe 10 bucks, maybe 10 bucks, we're not getting a whole lot of value today, but like opening, opening is always priceless. So I'm going to go tell Dan what we're doing this month. <laughs> Plane shift. Um, let's find a foil at Ladmir's Call. Can we do that? A foil at Ladmir's Call. So the uncommons and rares are right here. One, two, three, four. Let's uh, put those to the back. Those cards have got some curl to them. Can you see that? Okay. C. Snid. Gay as might. That is just so cool. Oh, Russian River. Nightscape Familiar. Death Bomb. Cavern Harpy. Familiar. Sinister Strength. Go get him. Pygmy Kavu. Sleeping Potion. Quiron Explorer. Mr. Spears. Okay. Okay. Thornscape Battle Mage. Look at that art. Diragaz. Caldera, Sky Shroud, Blessing, and our rare is Dranula's Dranu Pet Shapeshifter. Wow. Okay. We're down to the last one here. Um, invasion, like I said, it felt like there was a foil in here. I don't know, man. Like, Firex isn't Firexian Altar in here? Firexian Altar. Um Aura Shards, I think, is in here. Tranquil Grove. Elephant. Apprentice. Merfolk. Wandering Stream. Morning. Let's touch. That's me when I don't get breakfast. 
<laughs> Explosive growth. Okay. Okay. Dredge. Dredge. That is beautiful. Elfham Palace. That is beautiful. We like those. Rainbow Crow. Rainbow Crow. And Metharin Aerostat. Very cool, you guys. Very cool. Well, we didn't really get a whole lot of value today, but like, this was a lot of fun to open. This was a lot of fun to open. I appreciate y'all as always. Nothing but love for you. And uh, I'll see you again. See you again real soon. Bye bye. What's up, y'all? You know, I was just sitting here looking through these after the little video here. And, uh, like, obviously this Battlefield Forge, this is awesome. This will go straight into my little land pile. It'll go straight into the binder. We got this, uh, this airship from Invasion. I thought that was kind of neat, just the art. We got the pet. This is like some alien stuff going on here. Um... The Guilt Feeder. Guilt Feeder out of Judgment. And then uh, I think my favorite artwork for today has to be the Elf Ham. Elf Ham? Elf Ham? We'll call it Elf Ham. <laughs> the Elf Ham Palace. You know, and of course, I've been trying to do this all month to get it to focus. Wait, did it focus? I think it did focus. Anyway. You guys saw it in the video. This art is this art is awesome. It's a dual land. It comes into play tapped. You know, you get your little amulet of vigor and it doesn't even matter. It's beautiful art. Beautiful art. And then this one right here. This one right here kind of took me back for a second. Cultural exchange in the video. And that was out of Odyssey. Choose any number of target. Choose any number of creatures target player controls. Choose the same number of creatures another player controls. Those players exchange control of those creatures. This effect doesn't end at end of turn. For six mana. This right here would be some shenanigans. Big time shenanigans. Big time shenanigans. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine, like, play this in a commander? If somebody isn't using this in a commander deck, I want you to use this in a commander deck. You just let me know. Let me know if you get if you end up using that. And then of course, uh, lead astray. The artwork on this is just cool. It's like an it's like an ogre, and uh, looks like there's a chicken and a dragon. Maybe that's a worm. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. But these old foils, these old foils. Like, just the border is foil, you know? Just the border is foil. So, it's, they they just hit different. They just hit different. And this Anarchist, this would be a great, great creature if it didn't cost five. Like, when it comes into play, return target sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. It's not even an instant, okay? Not even an instant card. It's only a 2-2 two -two body, but he costs five. Like, if this had cost three mana on a 2-2 body, and, you know, you could limit it to Sorcerer if you want, but it would be a game changer if, if the mana was different. But, uh, so, yeah, you know, we just did Judgment, Invasion, Plane Shift, Apocalypse. Um, I'm really excited for tomorrow because we're going to do Onslaught. We're going to do Onslaught. Onslaught, Legions, and Scourge. Scourge. Chris, you need to learn how to talk if you're going to make videos for people. I know, man. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate you. Nothing but love. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.